Are you guys loving my makeup look right now and want to know how all these beautiful product performs on my skin in action? All these top recommendations for you lovely people I'm going to share in this video. So keep on watching. Hello my lovely people. I'm Zoha and welcome to Zoha Insight. I hope you all are doing great and are in best of your health. In this video, I'm going to share my top recommended products, my top recommendations for this Nykaa Pink Love Sale. And not only that, I'm going to show all these products in action. I'm going to apply this on my face right now. I'm going to create this beautiful makeup look. I hope you are loving this. This is something that is going to suit on all skin tone beauties out there and all these products are absolutely amazing so purchase links of all the products will be mentioned in description box for your ease so don't forget to check and now without further ado let's get started all right so skin prep is done all the skincare products that i like to use right before the makeup so i'll be add a link to those in description box for your ease and I allowed the skincare to set on my skin for like 5 to 10 minutes. And now I'm going to begin with the makeup. Well, all these products that I'm using in this video right now are my absolute favorite. And I highly recommend them for this Nykaa Pink Club sale and any other sale. Whenever you get a great deal and if you're eyeing on these products, you can go ahead and shop. And in this video, you'll be able to see in action that how beautifully these products perform. Right after the skin prep is done, I love to do a good lip prep and for that I'll be using this Laneige a Lip Glowy Balm in their best seller variant, Berry. It is always very much important to prep your lips right before beginning with the makeup. After applying a good matte lipstick, your lips shouldn't be drying. You can see my lips are looking so beautiful, juicy and glossy. It's great for teenage beauties as well to maintain their lips. They have some more variants as well and this gives a perfect amount of nourishment to the lips so I really enjoy using this before makeup and also on a day-to-day -day basis or at night after my nighttime skincare routine it's great now it's time to prime my skin before putting on the makeup because it is very important before applying the makeup go ahead prime your skin beautifully uh, create a really nice barrier in between your makeup and your beautiful skin so that your makeup can be long lasting glide smoothly and for that firstly i'll be using this matte fix plus in the variant that i'm recommending you right now magic radiance this adds a beautiful hydration nourishment that dewy glow you get with the magic radiance variant is phenomenal it gives you that absolute dewy skin look when you apply the other makeup products i love to shake this magic radiance variant of fix plus before spraying i love to drench my skin so well with this because it adds a really nice hydration to my skin and you can see my skin is glowing i am tapping this fix plus magic radiance onto my skin so that it can absorb quickly and just have a look at that dewy glow to create a beautiful canvas for my makeup to sit beautifully on top of my skin i'm going to use this bobby brown vitamin enriched face base this is a great product it is a primer and moisturizer in one like primer plus moisturizer so it's gonna give a really nice smooth effect to the skin plus also gonna moisturize the more you moisturize the more beautifully your makeup gonna sit on your skin and is not going to look patchy and crusty which is I think is very important for so many beauties out there. I'm just gonna take less than a pea size amount rubbing it between my fingertips just to warm it up and gonna apply this on my entire face. This has a really nice uh, floral and citrusy scent which is not very overpowering but feels really nice refreshing on skin at last i'm gonna tap it well just to make it absorb even more better and it is gonna do wonders since i have combination skin my t-zone is oily and rest of my face is normal to dry as per the weather so i have visible open pores right here and slight bit of oily nose so i really love to use a really nice silicone based primer or a pore filling primer or a blurring primer especially on this particular area and for that i'll be using this professional from uh, benefit this is their best seller primer also you need a very tiny bit of it just a little bit you can see and i'm gonna rub it in between my fingertips like so i'm gonna work precisely on those particular areas where i want to have that smooth look and where i have 
visible open pores. I'm applying it nicely onto my nose area, slightly onto my cheeks as well, just working it really well to fill in my pores. Little bit on the center of my forehead to give that smooth even out look and around my smile lines, whatever is left, I'm just dabbing. It is just something that makes your makeup even more long lasting, especially when you apply it around your nose area. Your makeup doesn't break on the corners of your nose. Now I'm going to use this Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer Plus Eraser. This is my absolute favorite and I've used this one quite a lot. Only a little bit is left. My shade is WN48 Oat and I really love to use this particular concealer especially for the concealing purpose. This area right here, you know, dark circles are slightly deeper than our actual skin tone so that's why I love to go ahead and apply a slightly deeper shade concealer. Here you can see I am precisely applying the concealer especially focusing on the inner corner outer corner in a lifted manner same thing i'm gonna do on the other side plus i'm gonna allow it to set onto my skin for like few seconds 20 30 seconds and then i'm gonna blend this also i'm applying this around my nose area slight bit around my mouth area if it is needed if you have slight bit of a dullness you can apply if it is not needed you can skip just to give an overall even toned look i love to do that as I need some time for the concealer to sit around my eye area, I'm going to blend the rest of the concealer onto my face. Also, you can see this concealer is very nice, very natural looking, seamless finish. I really like how beautifully this particular concealer performs. Since we allowed the concealer to sit on the eye area for a while, it is something that deepens the coverage a little bit. Like the opacity automatically increases because the concealer dries down on the skin and it just blends on that particular spot where you actually want to. You can see I blended really well on the inner portion of my eye and on the outer portion in a lifted manner. The lid area is not much blended and also my lower lash line is looking intact just like that for that extreme natural look. So yeah, you can see it is beautiful looking and feels really nice, very natural looking. Now it's time for the foundation. I love to apply a good light layer of foundation for that even toned smooth look and for that I'll be using this K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation. My shade is 110N Light. I love to take one pump of this foundation. This gives a really nice skin-like hydrating finish. Just gonna dot this with the help of brush only on my entire face and gonna blend this in the downward direction. Just showing you my skin up close, you can have a look at the visible open pores. They are very much smooth. My skin is looking nicely hydrated and beautifully glowy. Yeah, that dewy finish, very skin-like. My preference right now is going ahead with the lighter shade concealer, but before I'm going to bronze my face. And for that, I'll be using this Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. This is the shade Tan Light. I so love this bronzer. I just can't stress enough how much amazing this is. This beautiful swirly pattern gives the most glowy and natural looking bronzer look. It applies on skin slightly like cream and sets like powder. It's a unique finish, long lasting, slightly glowy and gives a really nice blurry effect as well. This contour brush from Nykaa is also really good. I love to pick slight bit of amount. You can see you don't really need to work a lot to blend this bronzer. It just blends by itself. I am blending the bronzer slightly below the cheekbone and taking it towards the temple you can see for that extra lifted look beautiful bronzy look I am focusing slightly on the outer parameter of my forehead slight bit onto my jawline connecting it towards my ear you can see and whatever is left I am just applying around my nose area if you want to have extra chiseled look you can use eyeshadow brush very precise eyeshadow blending brush and you can use that as well however I love to give a very natural looking effect so I'm using this right now if you want you can definitely go ahead and build this bronzer for even more bronzer look but I like this much of amount for that extra seamless and beautifully natural looking appearance so yeah it works perfectly in both ways even pigmented bronzer look you can achieve with the help of this 
a glowish tan light and still it's gonna look very much seamless on skin. Now here I'm using a lighter shade concealer just to highlight the center of my face and also lift up my face. For that I'll be using this Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer and my shade is Light 50W. You can watch my makeup tutorial where I've tried this concealer and other Colourpop products it might interest you. I'll add a link to that video in the description box. This concealer shade is very nice. It is very much close to my skin it's not too light and not too deep just perfectly beautiful I like to use this on its own as well on day-to-day -day basis when I want to apply slight bit of a concealer so yeah let's go ahead and apply this because it is gonna give that natural looking highlighting appearance onto my skin here I'm very much precise I'm gonna apply this slightly around my nose and slightly below the temples in a lifted manner on the outer portion of my eyes, bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, uh, slightly around my lips in a lifted slanted manner and these are my facial features that I love to highlight so I'm gonna do that. Again I'm giving it some time to sit on my skin for that even more precise blend and slight bit more coverage. By the way, this concealer is very creamy, very lightweight. It just blends beautifully onto the skin and is very hydrating. It just feels my skin but better right after applying this concealer. You can see the way I blended this concealer is in a lifted manner around my eye area, slightly above the center of my lid and on the nose, especially focusing on the bridge of my nose and around my mouth area in a lifted manner towards my ears just to give that even more snatched look and for example if the bronzer we have applied out of the boundary this should clean that extra bit of bronzer which is here and there so just for that extra finishing touch this works really great and I blended this around my eye area, outer portion of my eye towards the temple in a lifted manner. This gives a really nice snatched and lifted look to the eyes. And on the center of my forehead just to give that extra bit of highlight. And it looks even more stunning when light hits your face. A really nice dimension is achieved by applying the highlighter in such a way. Now for my eyebrows, I'm going to use a nice high-end product actually, but it is very much underrated. This product is really good. It is two-in-one kind of a product. It is a pomade, but in a pencil. Just have a look at this two-faced pomade in a pencil. This is brow shaper and filler. My shade is dark brown. Here you see the product here you can twist and take the product out however you can't take a lot of product out because you won't be able to twist it back so just twist the amount that you want and here is the spoolie i like to do my eyebrows a lot of times before my powder so i'm gonna do the same this is gonna give the most natural looking and filled in kind of a eyebrow look so yeah, I don't apply a lot of quantity, just a little bit is perfect to shape and to define my eyebrows. I'm going to do the same and just have a look how easily it applies and blends. I'm obsessed. Also, I like to apply a slight bit more product, especially on the arch area, just to add that extra bit of lifted look to my face. It just gives a really nice confident and snatched look that I really like. You can also try the same. You can see the beautifully defined and shaped eyebrow look is achieved in Jiffy. I really like it. I must tell you it is very natural looking and it is very much long lasting. It lasts for the entire day. Now it's time to apply the powder and I'll be using two powders. First to, you know, uh, set the concealer and then I'll be using a loose powder just to give a really nice, even more smoother look and make my makeup look even more long lasting. And for that, firstly, I'll be using this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade 1. That is Fair Pale. I really like this particular powder. It is just so nice. Very beautiful, very softly and finely milled. Gives a really nice uh, airbrush look. It is just so good on your skin when you apply. It is weightless and it is a luxury formula that you must try and you won't regret. You can see I am smoothing out the creasing with the same concealer brush and then I'm applying the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish very precisely and dabbing it well with the help of that very precise highlighter brush specifically focusing on the area where I applied the concealer. Also going to set around my nose area very slight bit, not too much 
we don't want any kind of a cakey makeup look focusing on the forehead as well and around my mouth area just to set really well also applying a little bit below the bronzer just to give a really beautiful snatched out look but it should be even more seamless and smooth looking by following this step you can see my skin is looking matte where i want it to look matte but it is still glowy looking a lot of you beauties asked that how my skin is looking glowy even after applying the powder that's because I am applying the powder very much precisely, especially where I want to set my base product. And this is how you can also do that. Now it's time for eyeshadow and for that I'll be using this Huda Beauty Gold Obsessions. It is finally available in India and I'm very much excited for it. This, I think it's going to be on 50% off. This is an absolutely amazing palette. I tried it few times and I'm loving it that how beautifully the shades are performing some are eyeshadow toppers so if you are a fan of Korean makeup look you can achieve beautifully with the help of this particular palette the mattes are so stunning easy to blend very softly and finely milled the powder is it just blends by itself like it is just so good and all the beautiful peachy and gold shades peach shades are the uh, color of the year so yeah you can achieve beautiful and effortless look using this palette i'm going to show you one look right now so yeah stay tuned it is going to be very much easy firstly i'm using this very soft peach to give a really nice even base onto my eyelid this adds a really nice canvas for your other eyeshadow products to sit such shades are so good in a palette and I really appreciate that. Just have a look how beautifully it blends onto the eyelid. It just looks really nice and highlighted. It is going to make other shade pop really well onto the eyelid. So yeah, it's beautiful. Next, I'm taking this really nice nude pink shade. It has a really nice base of beige undertone but has that really beautiful depth of pink that I really like, very beautiful and earthy shade to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Just a little wash of this shade onto the entire eyelid. Looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to focus it on the outer portion of my eye and going to blend this onto my crease area just to create a slight bit of a transition. You can see the depth and dimension we are getting with the help of this eyeshadow shade is very beautiful looking. It is very soft and you are getting a really nice dimension. Next, I'll be taking this chocolate brown shade and gonna softly buffing it onto the outer portion of my eyelid, just softly gonna diffuse it and gonna create a really nice depth at that particular point. You can see it looks really nice and detailed. Again, gonna take the same soft beige shade and gonna diffuse the outer edge so that everything should look even. Now I'm taking this gorgeous gold shade. It is very metallic. I'm gonna tap it on the center of my eyelid. This shade gonna work like a spotlight shade. You can see it is just so good. It has a slight bit of an orange, green, gold. Everything is beautifully merged. It is just so beautiful looking. And you can see how beautifully it is dabbing onto the skin and is not giving any fallout. Just have a look right here. I'm building this up on the center of my eyelid. I'm just placing it right on the center because everything we're going to blend so well at last. Then I'm taking this beautiful peachy gold shade. I'm going to apply this on the inner portion of my eyes to create a really nice ombre. Peachy gold, gold and brown at last. That is looking really nice. We're going to create a gorgeous ombre right here. This particular shade is slightly foily and is sparkly but is not very opaque it is sheer so you can build this as per your desired opacity and it looks great this shade has slight bit of fallout because it is foily but it has a beautiful pink specks in it which looks really nice and very fresh on the eyes in person so yeah, it's going to be very much beautiful looking. And I can see that this palette is something that's going to suit on all skin tone beauties beautifully. For the lower lash line, I'm going to mix both the matte shades, that really nice pinkish, dusty pink shade and the brown shade. I'm going to buff it nicely onto my lower lash line. I'm focusing more towards the outer corner and taking it towards the inner corner. Again, at last, I'm going to take that dusty pink shade and I'm going to smoke it out on the outer portion and just going to soften all the shimmer shades so that we don't see any harsh edges. Now it's time for eyeliner and mascara. All you beauties who love to wear eyeliners, this is my 
current favorite. This is from NYX Epic Ink Liner. It has a really nice uh, felt tip. Just going to shake it a little bit. It is very black, applies beautifully. So here you can see. It is pigmented and it gives the most effortless application. If you're someone who struggles with applying the eyeliner, just go ahead and invest in this because the brush tip is so precise to give a most precise eyeliner look and you can build as per your preference for that extra bit of, you know, graphic liners and everything. You can do that, but it is just so good. It is very long lasting and for extreme precision, this works really well. You can see I'm focusing especially on the outer portion where I have applied that smoky brown shade to give that extra bit of lift, slight bit of a wink. Gonna do wonders because we're gonna apply the mascara and it should look like natural looking falsies and this is gonna give that extra bit of a lifted look to the eye look. I'm applying slight bit of eyeliner on the outer portion of my lower lash line just to add slight bit more smoky effect when we apply the mascara. For mascara, again, currently I'm loving this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is the miniature version and I'm definitely going to get my hands on the full sized. This is non-waterproof variant and it applies beautifully. It gives the most beautiful length and curl to the lashes. I'm going to focus a lot on the outer lashes for that extra bit of volume, especially focusing on that particular area and whatever is left, I'm going to focus on the inner lashes and a little bit onto my lower lashes as well. Uh, it's gonna give the great, great volume. It is beautiful. The hourglass shape sits really well onto the eyelashes to give that really nice application. You can see in just one coat, this has given a great, great volume. Very beautiful looking and separates the lashes really well. You can see it has given that really nice length as well to the lashes. I'm gonna build up the layer like I'm gonna apply the one more coat. I don't really go ahead with three four coats but yeah one or maybe two is enough for me. In fact this much amount works well for me but I want to show you how beautifully you can build up this mascara when you apply one more coat. And this time I'm specially focusing on the outer lashes only and you can see the most beautiful volume, the most beautiful length and the lashes are beautifully separated that I really like about this mascara. Everything is achieved in just few coats, like two coats. Now I'm gonna set center of my face under my eye area and also gonna dust off this little bit of fallout that we got with the that rose gold shade. And for that, I'll be using this Huda Beauty Easy Bake. Recently, I got my hands on the pink version, which is cherry blossom cake. And banana bread is my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna be applying both of them actually. I'm gonna dust off everything. I'm gonna set slight bit with the help of this. And to highlight, I'm gonna use cherry blossom cake. Both of these are so good. Uh, they're gonna give you the most beautiful looking, cake free and smooth look to the makeup base. I'm gonna make your makeup even more long lasting. Just a great, great powder. Just be mindful of applying the quantity. If you apply a lot, your makeup might look cakey, but just be precise while applying. With the help of this precise highlighter or powder brush, I'm taking the shade Banana Bread. I'm gonna focus it specially under my eye area and around my nose area as well. I'm gonna dust off that fallout from the eyeshadow. Now I'm applying on the center of my forehead and around my smile lines just to set them. And if you see carefully, I am dusting the powder very slight bit onto my skin. I'm not applying a lot of powder because we want a really nice glowy base. Just don't apply a lot of powder. This powder puff is something that I'm really enjoying right now. This is from Prosh. And here you can see, taking slight bit of amount, rubbing on the back of my hand. We're going to smoothen out the powder. And I'm focusing slight bit right here. Not applying too much, just a little bit of a highlight on the center of my forehead, below the bronzer, just slight bit. Whatever is left around my mouth area. Everything is just beautifully set. I'm very happy with it because this is going to be very, very long lasting, smooth looking and not going to be crusty at all around the nose area, on the under eye area and the 
you know mouth area if you like to bake your makeup you can definitely use these because these are great to bake your makeup and again gonna give you that beautiful and flawless finish but it is going to be very matte looking now it's time for blush and i'll be using something that i really love i have two three shades in this collection but this is my absolute favorite right now. This is MAC Matte Blush in the shade Copper Tone. A lot of times you get this blush shade as a freebie with your MAC purchase. So yeah, I received it as a freebie again with my MAC purchase. And this is how it looks like. Very beautiful copper shade. It has a perfect hint of pink and peach in it. That looks really nice and fresh. And it is very sophisticated blush that you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It is something that's going to suit on all skin tone beauties. And the matte finish is not too much. It is just perfect to give that really nice blushy look. Yeah, it's going to be a great blush for upcoming summers as well. So I'm taking this big fluffy brush. I'm going to take a little bit of amount. I'm going to focus it on the highest points of my face. You can see I'm applying it from the center of the eyeball to the temple and this is how you can achieve a beautiful lifted look from the blush again eyes are sparkly so i'm not going to go ahead with the dewy blush i am loving this kind of a very natural looking soft matte blush these days and these are actually very much long lasting you can definitely build this up a little bit here you can see i'm showing you right now matte matte blushes are very long lasting blends so seamlessly and looks skin like as if you're blushing from within and it just looks very healthy. You can see it adds a beautiful and instant color onto my skin and is looking really nice and presentable. Just a little bit I'm applying onto my nose to add that soft sun kissed look, dusting on the forehead. Yeah, it's looking nice. Now it's time for highlighter and I'll be using an oldie but a goodie. This is Becca that is now under Smashbox, especially this particular formulation and this is their best selling shade Seaball. This is also available in full size and some other shades now so you can go ahead and explore that whereas I got my hands on this one when it was launched on Smashbox so that's why I went ahead with the miniature size it was available like miniature size was only available back then. So yeah, it is a beautiful champagne, a bit of a rose gold, gold, everything mix. Just a perfect, perfect highlighter for all skin tone beauties. As per the quantity you apply again, and it is so softly and finely milled, extremely pigmented, looks stunning. Let me give you a quick swatch. I'm applying the highlighter very precisely on the highest points of my face, not taking it towards the cheek area. Just focusing on the cheekbone area towards the temple a little bit, on the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, around my forehead a little bit, uh, above the eyebrows, a little bit on my cupid's bow and chin. You can see there was not much focus on the center of my cheeks. I applied it on the highest points right here, uh, above the eyebrows, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow and chin. And this works perfectly. But whatever is left, I'm going to slightly dust on the cheek area. I'm not going to apply a lot of quantity, just going to dust whatever is left so that we can achieve a glowy cheek look. But it should not emphasize the pores that I have or if you have much of texture, this way it's not going to emphasize. I'm just laying slightly, you know, whiff of highlighter on top of the powder. You can see a lot of time my cheeks are glowy, but they are not emphasizing the visible open pores that I have. So this is the tip for you. Whatever is left, slightly dust for that glowy cheek look and focus more on the highest points, like on the, uh, what do you say this? Cheekbone, <laughs> on the cheekbone. Just have a look. Here I'm taking a very precise brush, just a little bit of a same highlighter and highlighting the inner portion, inner corners of my eyes for that extra bit of oomph. This gives a really nice highlighted look and just binds your entire eye makeup game together and just taking it slight bit here. Again for a very soft highlighted look. On my brow wounds a little bit. Little bit extra on the tip of my nose. 
you can see this highlighter is so softly and finely milled, very beautiful and natural looking, very glowy, dewy, very soft and is not emphasizing the texture. It is not super chalky or powdery or crusty. It is just perfect consistency, just perfect soft powder highlighter for that glam look. I love it. Now it's time for lips, but before that, I am going to apply this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. This is magic in a bottle. This is just so good. It smells like spa. It is just so refreshing on the skin, and it is going to give you that extra bit of a blurred out, very beautiful, hydrated look, and going to set your makeup for the entire day, even after sweating, even after being in a hot weather, hot, sunny weather. My makeup is not going to budge after sweating and everything. Just dab a tissue, take off that excess sweat. Uh, you are just good to go. It is not going to budge your makeup and going to make your makeup stay intact in its place for the entire day. I'm shaking the bottle a little bit and from a distance, I am just spraying four to five sprays. Just allow it to stay it like this. This is just going to set your makeup for the entire day. I love it. Now you saw whatever glow was there that was converted into a matte finish when we applied the powder is back now after applying this uh, Charlotte Tilbury's setting spray and you can see my skin is looking very healthy, dewy and glowy but is not very oily or is not very heavy. It's just so perfect. The glow is back that I really like. Now it's time for lips and I'm taking off that lip balm. Not only the steps gives a really nice hydration to the lips but also gives a mild exfoliation because it removes the dead skin when you take off the lip balm with the help of a tissue. For lips, firstly I'll be using my current obsession. This is Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Iconic Nude. This is their best seller. Oh my god, everyone out there loves this particular nude because this adds a beautiful contour to your lips. It is going to give you that gorgeous pouty lips. It is very creamy, easy to apply, super long lasting and suits all skin tone beauties really well. This is highly, highly recommended and it is always almost out of stock. So just keep an eye whenever you get a great deal, go ahead, grab. You can see I am focusing specially on the cupid's bow. I slightly like to overline my cupid's bow a little bit and the lower lip, center of my lower lip and gonna follow the exact same lip line on the outer portion and this is gonna give even more poutier and fuller look to my lips and a beautiful contour as well. Also you can see it is gliding smoothly, very creamy, very beautifully onto my lips. Here I'm gonna fill into the corner of my lips just like that to add a really nice a focus effect on the center just to give a really nice highlight on the center and letting the center portion of my lips stay as it is. You see a really nice pouty appearance is ready and for lips I'll be using this Too Faced Lip Injection Liquid Lipstick. This is a hybrid formula of their lip injection and liquid lipstick. It is pigmented like lipstick and is having that tingling sensation of lip injection. So when you apply this it is Something that applies like a liquid lipstick, it applies a slight bit more glossy and give it some time, 10 to 15 minutes and it is going to set like a matte lipstick and going to give you that tingling sensation and fuller lip appearance which is just so good. It is hydrating as well but it's not too drying or too matte, somewhere in between so I like to apply just a little bit of amount on the center of my lips and going to dab with the help of my fingertips for that extra bit of a sheared out look that I really like because I want most focus on the center of my lips. And the shade that I'm using is Given Lip that looks so beautiful on all skin tone beauties as a highlighting lip color which is a gorgeous beige nude with a lot of pink hints in it and slight bit of a peach touch that looks very fresh on lips, you can see. You can see just a little bit of amount and the pouty lip look is ready. The center of my lips is more focused and this is more contoured. You can see it is looking so good and the tingling sensation is not too much like lip injections. It is so light, very mild tingling sensation but gives a nice fuller look to the lips. And I love how it sits onto my lips, very beautiful. Don't apply a lot of quantity. Uh, just apply a slight bit of amount and dab, it is going to look even more beautiful. If you want, you can apply a lip gloss as well for even more juicier look, but 
I am loving this look right now. Now, as a last step, I love to apply a really good scent, a really good perfume. And I am loving this Kiali Young Pistachio Gelato 33 right now. This is EDP Eau de Parfum. And I love how beautifully it smells. Why I am showing you this? Because this particular variant, the 10 ml variant is priced at 2,500 rupees. But during Nike Pink Love sale, all the variants in 10 ml in this particular size is available in 50% off. So you can go ahead and grab your favorite scent in 50% off and it is easy to try, travel and if you like you can go ahead with full size one. Uh, by the way, I am definitely going to get my hands on the full sized one because I am obsessed with this scent. I have this from past few days and I wore this five, six times and I'm loving it. You don't really need a lot of quantity, just two or maybe three sprays are enough and you're gonna smell like ice creams, very beautiful. Uh, let me quickly read notes for you so that you can understand how it actually smells like. I'm gonna explain as well. Okay, so the first thing is pistachio gelato. Just have a look at this gorgeous packaging. The spray is very fine and nice. It is just so good. Something that is gonna be very much enjoyable for so many beauties out there. It is a very beautiful scent. It is having that ice cream, sweet, beautiful scent that is not very overpowering and is not sickly sweet. It's just that perfect sweet. Yeah, I don't love sickly sweet scents. Just a perfect sweet scent. Oh my God, I am obsessed with it. So I'm gonna apply a slight bit right here. Just two sprays. I love how it smells at first. It is just so fresh. Oh my God, it has pistachio gelato. Then it has hazelnut. I can sniff slight bit of a nutty scent as well in it after it settles, like after 20, 30 minutes. I can sniff slight bit of a hazelnut touch, that nutty touch in it. Let me spray it right here so that you can see the spray is also very nice and fine. Yeah, it smells fresh at first. Yeah, I can see slight bit of a nuttiness as well. And after a few minutes, you will observe that there is slight bit of a sweetness and nuttiness, but it's not sickly sweet, which is great. It has sweet rum and it also has whipped cream and you can experience whipped creamy scent after like 30, 40 minutes. This lasts on me for like seven plus hours and I love how it feels. It is super fresh, refreshing, happy and bubbly scent. Oh my God. It has that creaminess of marshmallow and cotton candy, that sweetness of cotton candy, but again, is not sickly sweet. It is fresh. It is beautifully sweet. It smells like very delicious, gourmand and ice cream like. If you love ice creams, I love ice creams. Even in winters, I love deeply frozen ice creams. Pistachio ice cream is something that I really enjoy eating during winters. Do try it out. You're definitely going to enjoy it. And I think that's why I'm loving it right now. It's a beautiful scent to experience. If you love a good fresh note at first, then it should uh, set into a nutty and slight bit of a sweet scent. Then it should uh, last on your body uh, like a soft nutty and bit of a sweet and ice creamy delicious scent. Go ahead with this particular variant, Yum Pistachio Gelato. Also, I have uh, reviewed Love Fest Burning Cherry on my channel and also I recommended the Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. Oh my God, that is my absolute favorite again. Also, if you are someone who loves to wear amber scent, you can um, check out their invite only amber scent as well. It is just so intense, but this is sweet, fresh, bubbly, happy. Whenever I'm not feeling well, I just spray this perfume and I'm just so happy and energetic and gonna rule the day kind of a personality I get right after this. So I'm gonna get my hands on the 50 ml variant pretty soon. And I'm highly recommending you to try at least 10 ml variant so that you can understand that how it actually performs for you. If you want to invest in 50 ml or 100 ml or not, you can pick two or three because you are getting this in 50% off, which is actually a great deal. All right, so this is the final finished look. You can see my skin is looking so glowy, dewy, beautiful. This makeup look is super long lasting. Those gold eyes are my absolute favorite with the nude lip and that copper tone 
blush oh my god and i'm loving that highlighter as well all these products are my absolute favorite and my top recommendations for you lovely people that you can grab during Nike Pink Club sale or any other sale like whenever you like whenever you gonna grab these products you definitely gonna enjoy each and every bit of it all right my lovely people i hope you enjoyed watching all these products in action how they are actually performing on my skin you can also try and test these uh, tips and tricks and see how it works for you i would love to know your beautiful thoughts on these products in comment box purchase links of all the products will be mentioned in the description box for your ease so don't forget to check along with my some other videos in which i have swatched and some other recommendations coming your way so stay tuned for that do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified i hope you enjoyed watching this video so do like share and yeah i'll see you soon in my next video till then take care bye